time with you, you big <laughs> <laughs> you come here and take this time with your big head ass. <laughs> Yo! Welcome to Beards and Bars. Your place for rap, fire, hip hop discussion, and of course, Gray Beer. I am Kamal Kiddo. Go to the Golden Child. Thank y'all for checking out last week's episode. Y'all know what time it is. Three topics. Maybe two, three minutes. I don't know. We got some things to discuss today, so. Let's keep it at two. Let's keep see it at how two. we do. We'll see how it goes. All yeah. right. <laughs> okay. Well, what's our first topic? Um, topic one album review Cali Uchis. Yes. Isolation. Mm. Topic two. Yeezy season is definitely upon us. Was yeah. originally gonna be the title, but I think it's just Yeezy. 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 Yeah, you know what I mean. That's what that is. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot going on with Mr. West, man. Yeah, yeah. Wake up, Mr. West. Wow, I didn't even mean to say it that way, but it came out that way. Topic three. Album review: J. Cole's K.O.D. K.O.D. All right, y'all know what time it is. We got to get y'all acclimated yeah, yeah. to the beer of the week. Today we have two brothers, Pinball. This is their Juicy Hop Pale Ale. Uh, juicy Pale Ales, Juicy Ales in general, you know what I'm saying? As far as my experience, usually mm. are abreast to the abreast. I can smell with, the hops before yeah. I even... <laughs> well, yeah. Like, you it hit me right here. Beer, you know what I'm saying? What's so uh, tropical flavors, tropical notes and whatnot. Uh -huh. I was again. a big fan of the Juicy joint that we had at um I've been getting real accustomed to the to the hot level yeah. of certain yeah of certain beers. Well like I've said Lagunitas typically they're at the they be way up yeah. especially their um their hop stupid joint. But yeah this is pretty good. I have uh this came straight out of my refrigerator right over there so I already had it on deck. You know what I'm saying? But yeah man tropical notes and whatnot is kicking up in the joint. Um, I like it. Beers and bars tea still there. Beers oh, and yeah. bars, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you follow us Instagram, Beers and Bars, Twitter Beers and bars, tees at LuellaCole.com. First topic, <laughs> what we got, man? Topic one. Caliuchis. Caliuchis Isolation. Uh, you familiar with what, what the first project she had? Was it was it a mixtape or Two something? Two minutes. Like um she had what did she have? Uh I am not sure. I'm not even Yeah, sure. I've heard one mixtape. Yeah. So she may have two, mm -hmm. but I've heard one. Okay. And um I thought it was pretty good, but I knew her from her work with Tyler. Okay. Like, that's how I was really introduced to her, I think. Right. And then I knew she was doing some stuff. When I heard her name on other projects, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Kelly Uchis. Okay, okay, okay. But, so I knew I was going to check her out. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't know it was her first debut. You right. know what I'm saying? Her debut album. Okay, word. I'm check for her. And I like it. Mm -hmm. It's good. Where I, it's good, okay. Where it it falls flat to me is that some of the songs are just okay. Like these are good, you know what I'm saying? Washing the dishes, cleaning the house, music. Like I'm not mad at any of this music. Right. It's just it's cool. It's a cool little jam. It's a cool vibe. A lot it's of a stuff cool vibe. Is, is mood music. You know what I'm saying? Well, when we do these, it's a cool tracks, vibe. You know yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. It's, but it's a cool vibe. There's right. nothing like, you know what I'm saying, yeah. super commanding. Right. It's just, oh, hey. Exactly. But he got some bangers. I mean, there's some good songs on here. I like the intro. I like Miami. Yeah, I like Miami. Uh, yeah, I like yeah. your teeth in my neck. Your teeth in my neck. Hey. True, you know true. Uh, we were just talking about the, one of the second to the last song, the After the Storm with Tyler. Oof, that's, that's my joint. That's a joint, man, right? I rate it. Because it's all good music, a seven. Okay. I think it's 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 good. Yeah. You know, but I don't. I mean, it's not like super good. It's like it's like cool vibes. Okay. I give it a seven. Six for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Decent six though. You know what I mean? So that's True. why I'm at with that. But check it out, Caliuchis Isolation. All right. Boom. Topic two. Topic two. Yeezy. Yeezy, Yeezy. Let me go. Let me. You know what? Let's do this right. We let doing me, Yeezy? Yeah. This is. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Let's do King. Let's do J Cole now. Okay. Let's switch it around. Yeah. Let's do J Cole. Let's switch it around. Ooh. Call let's switch it around. Fly. Call him on the fly. Dunk Topic two. All right. Topic two is now J Cole. K O D. K O D. 
two minutes. Uh, KOD, J. Cole, North Carolina rapper, right? So what does KOD stand for? I think it's a lot. I think it's Killing Our Demons or something like that. I think it's a Is couple it? of... Um, I think it's an acronym for a couple of things, I believe. Really? Yeah. I didn't think about that. Yeah. I, only, I was always thinking like, man, what does KOD stand see, for? But it's all about... I mean, it's a good album to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think he's really rapping on it. Yeah. Man, it's like, ah, uh, this conundrum I have personally with, with J. Cole, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's a very good rapper. This is one of his better albums to me, you know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's cohesive, Yeah, my, you know what I'm saying? So. Very much so. Um, I think Kill Edward, his only feature is him. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is him. Yeah. Um, Man, the thing about J. Cole is that he's too smart for his own good. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, I love it. Like, his, his, there is, there, there are, I mean, his hooks are feel good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But there's very strong content here. Very strong content. Strong content. Oh, yeah. And beat wise, to me, it reminds me, I'm trying to think of everything that I thought about, but beat wise, to me, it reminds me of Missy G. It reminds me of Missy Timberland. Not to say it's not as it's not as expansive as Timberland's yeah. beats, but he's got a couple of joints on here that's got a Missy vibe to me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's got a like a late '90s R&B vibe. Like yeah. he's got heavy R&B tones in this album. Yeah, to me. Yeah, jazz. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kevin's heart is super jazzy and good. Yeah, there like the drums on there. Pff, it sounds very R and B, nineties R and B. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like KOD. I like Photograph. I like the Cutoff. I like ATM. Motivator's okay. Yeah, Brackets, I like. Yeah. We might need another yeah, minute. Yeah, we do. <laughs> um, the attic joint about his mom, right? The attic joint about his mom, G. Yeah. Uh, yeah. friends. Woo, yeah. friends. I'm listening, I'm like, but that's what is, that's the thing. You can't just throw it on, you know what I'm saying? He talks about a topic for so long in a bar, in bars. Yeah. This is not a throw on album. Oh, no, no, I don't think any of his material. You know what I'm saying? It's none of it, so. right. And like the last joint, which was really somber, and I rated it low because it's like, eh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But... I said this on his last on his last album. It's like he's a preacher. He's like a traveling man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but on this, he's more like yeah. hip hop. Yeah. This doesn't sound traveling man to me. This sounds like rap. I'm yeah. right. Okay, all right. Yeah. I'm gonna come back with some yeah. bounce music. Yeah, yeah, he bounced him, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the content is just very heavy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And but it's all bouncy. Yeah. <sighs> I would I would I I it's hard to say if I'm a I can't I don't know if I can throw it on right now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't know how I how I would feel in two weeks if I could just mm -hmm. let me see what's up with this. I like it. Yeah. But it's 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 Heavier toward the end, you know what I'm saying? Heavy towards the end. I don't know, man. I might. I actually kind of give it an eight, G. I agree. I, I have it at the eight as well. Um, but that, but it's preference for me because I am the kind of guy that likes to listen to these, you know, to hear somebody talk about, you know, dealing with, um, yeah, friends, you know, coming up and dealing with your problems mentally, and you know. Being like, yo, why don't you try meditation? You know what I mean? That people don't talk like that. Like, wait, like you, you see what I'm saying? That like, long wow. run. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. That man. long run. And then it go, yeah. Meditate. Yeah. <laughs> meditate. Then it goes into it. I'm like, wow. You know what I'm saying? It's a, he has some heavy content, man. Oh, and I didn't even catch that. Like, that's the problem. I didn't even catch that the first time see, I heard it. See, the thing. It. On my third listen, I was like, yo, this album is pretty good, G. Because I had yeah. time to really listen to his words. So, yeah. I probably would put it right for me right now is him and Saba, but I do like it a little bit more than Saba's because it's bouncy. Yeah, I feel it's, you. A, it's a variety of you know. Um, 
I kind of I like the musical notes on here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like him his singing, and you know what I'm saying. I like what he does on a lot of the songs yeah, yeah. with his singing wise. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um. Something I might like. Yeah, it's up there with Saba. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, As yeah. like these are the two best albums of the year yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And in my opinion. Yeah. And I definitely feel like. I definitely feel like uh, Saba's is good. I like his musical notes more though. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. You know I, what I'm saying? I can't they're, get on that. They're, they're very are, much both are very. But they're very yeah. but right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Eight. I give it, I give it eight as well, man. <laughs> Topic three. Yeezy. Mm. Yeezy. Yeah. Uh I'm going to give us three minutes on this, man. I got to pull up my man's Twitter for this, G. <laughs> let, me up, let me pull up. Let me. Let me. Three minutes, man. All right. Um, All right. Yeezy, Yeezy. Where are you, Yeezy? <laughs> uh, Where are you, Yeezy? <laughs> so, first of all, we, we start with, you know, Kanye talking about music within the past couple of weeks, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's originally Tiana what we were going to talk about. Tiana, right, Tiana Taylor, Nas, Pusha T, yeah. you know what I'm saying? All these people coming out yeah. with, with albums and whatnot. He talking about how he doing a lot of work on these joints. Him yes. and Cuddy coming out with an album. Him coming out with an album. And then, you know, the big photo drops of him. And Was that Leo, Leo Cohen? Mm-hmm. And whoever else the other guy was. I don't know what that and, was. And, and get Kanye in a Make America Great Again Trump hat. Yeah. He also said something, I believe, regarding Obama and how he hadn't did anything for Chicago. And then he, Kanye, been is he? He been tweeting probably, maybe like every alpha fest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, he tweets like Donald Trump. So, <laughs> I don't know how to frame this. First of all, Yeezy season is definitely here. Oh, it's, Yeezy it's season coming, is you know yeah. It's not. It's not a great. It's not as great as big an impact as it has been. In the past, people are fucking. People are. First of all, people have very, but people are a, wide, excited. a wide variety of emotions as to what's happening right now with I I agree. Um, I agree. So I'm you, trying to figure out how I feel about it. Do you think that he, it's promotion or is it? What do you think this? I is? don't think it's promotion. Me neither. I don't think so either. Because I don't think Kanye would do that. First of all, let's scale. For promotion. It would just bring Trump into it. First like of all. Like just a troll for promotion? Kanye I don't think said when Trump it. won that he would have voted for Trump. So we can throw that out the window. This is not album promotion there because when it yeah. when no. on that on tour two years ago, yeah. when when Trump won, he said that he would have voted for him. So yeah. was he promoting his album two years ago? No. He's no. for real. For whatever reason. Yeah. He he rock with dude. Um so, and that's troubling because you know what I'm saying? I mean, now granted, yes, he can have his his political views. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. And you know, I I feel him on saying, you know, I'm not going to agree with the mob. I'm exactly. not going to agree with everybody. I'm, I got my own mind. Exactly. identity, right? But part of what he said, and I should quote it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not looking at his Twitter right now. I should quote it. Mm-hmm. But he said in that I'm a, I'm an individual. That that's what makes us individual. I got dragon energy. Um, yeah, yeah. I love everybody or something like that. Yeah. Well, first of all, that's cool. That's positive. That's positive. Mm-hmm. But Donald Trump has showed that he does not love everybody. Yeah, man. So be. your energy is may not be reciprocated, Kanye, yeah. See, in that way. You know what I'm saying? Your energy of liking him, he likes that you like him. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm having. I don't know. I don't know. So there's that. But also, okay, you're allowed to think how you feel about the president. Right. And you like Donald Trump. So you're excited. You know what I'm saying? You got a hat. You got your hat signed. You're tweeting it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Got my make, uh, Make America Great Again hat signed. Fire emojis. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. He lost yeah. nine million nine followers. Nine million followers after that. In a day. No notable celebrities too, supposedly. So, you know. The thing is, 
he is who he is. And it this is part of why I struggle with even doing a show. You know what I'm saying? The fact that these people are not attached to us or don't owe us anything. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I mean, that's why I really They're their own person. I, I'm still going to check out his music. Of course. Because he's a great musician. And that's really He's a great musician, and I appreciate yeah. his creative mind as well. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I'm a major Kanye fan. I think we all are. <laughs> I mean, because his voice yeah. is an important one yeah. in not only the music community. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He thinks his voice is important in the fashion community, and it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't like everything that he puts out. I, li I have liked a lot of what he has put out. I have not liked some things he put out. Right. But I think he's more of a creative voice in general because he is doing all things. You know what I'm saying? And that's important. Yeah. And that's why we even talking about it. Mm -hmm. It affects us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On more than a musical level to, for me. Yeah. But I'm like, dang, G. Dang, Kanye. Here's the thing. We welcome your music into our homes and now you do this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, here's, here's my thing here. Kanye is But they don't owe us anything. That's all I'm saying. A, yeah, he Kanye is an artistic genius, man. And the thing about that, if you go throughout history and, and research artistic geniuses, they don't be all there, man. Like you know what I'm saying? They they That's a good point, too. They aren't they super duper eclectic and be off. Like read on like Picasso and like, you True. know what I'm saying, like Mozart and Beethoven. These dudes was not, they were great at what they did artistically, but yeah. as regular people, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a, like a neurologist or whatever. I don't know how the brain works, but yeah. people like that, they don't, and that's my, that's what I really wanted to say is that I just think bro off a little bit, like, and has been yeah. for a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hope he, I hope he like, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, like I don't you know, You got a man. good point, G, actually. Like, I hope he's okay, G. Because it'd be like cryptic yeah. as hell stuff to be talking about, too. It's like... I agree. kind of all over the place. I agree. I and agree. in a regular person world, our world, if we saw somebody like that, it'd be like, yo, my man might need some help, G. But he's yay. So it's like, hey. He's like, all right, hey. Is dude all right, though? I don't know. Yeah, like, that's the thing that uh, GLC has been tweeting. Right. You GLC see? has been tweeting like, yo, don't give up on Ye G. Yeah. It still look like a cry for help, G. That's what I'm saying, G. GLC! And that's his homie. And that's his man, day. G. And then if something did really happen to bro, all we do is be praying, though. Oh, no. Like, bro, y'all was just roasting. Oh, the bro. time? Did the time go off? I don't know. Whatever, man. <laughs> so, that was a long show. Yeah, uh, man. Beers and bars. We'll see y'all next week. Where are you, Yeezy? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha